Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Tuesday, February 24th. Big uh, bounce back on the market today. Uh, we had a sell-off yesterday, a lot of doom and gloom, and then we had Bernanke talking to Congress today and actually made sense. Uh, he actually came out and said that he expects the economy to pull out of a recession in the second half of this year and to start posting uh, growth, and the market just started to tick higher after that. Then some more comments about not nationalizing banks and the financial stocks took off. Here we have the Dow 15-minute chart. As you can see, we've been in this steep bullish falling wedge now for the last two weeks, a thousand point drop on the Dow. We ended up right at the upper resistance of this falling wedge. If we take a 38% Fibonacci retracement, we're looking at 75.85 to 7700 for a bounce target we're a little overbought on the near term but if we flip over to the daily chart here you can see we've got a similar bullish falling wedge and my target on this bounce should it continue which i expect it to of course it all depends on what obama says tonight would be a, a bounce back to at least the 20-day exponential as you can see the Dow daily chart, whenever we get extended sell-offs, we always bounce back to the 20-day, and that is at 77.83 right now. Also, another thing to note, we saw the RSI and the Dow dip below 30. The last time we saw that happen was back in October when we dropped to 7,700, and over the next two days, we saw a 2,000-point rally. So, you know, if we just go off of that, you know, all we're looking for is a five or six hundred point rally at this stage. Plus, as you can see, stochastics under 20. And each of the last three times we've seen a drop below 20 on stochastics and a rally, we've seen at least a thousand point move on the upside. So we've got a lot of positive indicators, at least looking at it that way. SMH continues to be the strength in this market. We've got our ascending triangle formation in play here. As I mentioned, we entered a scalp on Friday, and we're looking for a move to 17. We should hopefully see that tomorrow. 17 to 17.40 is our scalp target on that ad that we did yesterday. One thing also to note on the SMH, as you can see, stochastics deep under uh, 20, which is a buy signal for us. But over the last month, as we've had this sell-off from 19 down to the 15s, on-bounce volume has stayed the same, and this is bullish. And as I also mentioned, since the November lows, we've had higher lows on the SMH, so we're slowly moving higher, and in my opinion, techs remain the place to be going forward. SMH, nice big dip on the SMH today. We still have this weird-looking head and shoulders formation in play, and like I said, once we see a neckline breakdown, which is 39 on the VIX, uh, the bearish friend of volatility, those big massive tanks that we see like we saw yesterday and over the last week continue to be the enemy of longs and uh, the friend of bears but once we see that finally break down here we should see more of a stable market which is beneficial to swing trading hui gold buds index as i mentioned on sunday uh HUI and a lot of gold stocks were having some issues with the 200-day moving average, which possibly portend or you know foresaw a drop in gold near term, and we saw a big drop on gold today. Financials were the big winner. UYG is our pro shares financial ETF. If we see follow through and BAC over over five dollars tomorrow, we should see at least a test of the downtrend line or the 20-day moving average that's at 297 so we'll be looking for dips on the uig for a scalp to this target over the next few days uh, like i said we've got obama speaking to congress tonight so odds are pretty decent that we see him at least mention the stem cells in his health care portion seeing as he's going to be talking about his plan for the year all the stemmers look to have put impossible bottoms. If we get any mention from Obama tonight about stem cells, we should see very nice gaps on these tomorrow. ASTM, we would be looking for a gap to 53 cents. STEM would be looking for a gap up to 215 to 220. So we'll be keeping an eye on what uh, Obama has to say on that tonight. Financials, GNW. Uh, Broke down on us last week, but uh, would be looking to add back a scalp here and make back our, our losses on it. 
Uh, target will be moved back to the 20-day exponential. That is at 206. ETFC is another one mentioned in the chat room today at 89 cents. It's trading at 98 cents and after hours. Target here would be a move again back to the 20 day exponential. That is at a dollar nine. LJPC, La Jolla Pharmaceutical, stock tanked, uh, drug failed, they cancel it. But as I mentioned, this is a high risk gamble play on its cash position. As you can see, the stock is trading below bankruptcy levels, uh, hasn't had its dead cat tank bounce yet. My calculations say the company has at least 15 million plus in cash and it's got a market cap of 4 million. So 50 to 75% gain is what we're looking at this one. Seven to seven and a half uh, cent entry with a 10 to 14 cent target over the next couple of weeks. BCON, we had very good news yesterday. They locked up another large electrical company as a client. Yesterday, stock had a big spike, was trading at 50 cents in pre-market and then sold off with the market. But, you know, Obama is expected to talk on, you know, the grid plays as well. And BCON is becoming the play on the electrical grid. So remains in play. Anything on the 40 cents would consider adding a scalp play and we continue to hold on to our core plays with uh, our position with 50 cents being the scalp target on it. SONS reports earnings on Thursday, so we should see a nice pre-earnings pop tomorrow, especially if we see follow through on the tech stocks and at least a move back to the 20 day exponential. That's at 131 here. So we've got a, a lot of possible market moving events over the next day. Actually, I'm just looking at STEM and after hours, huge bidder here at $1.98. So we're looking very good here for a gap. You know, all we need is Obama to mention that those two words, stem cell tonight, and we should have some fireworks in the stemmers tomorrow. But again, back to the market. Remember on Friday, we had Kramer come out and tell people that if they need money not to invest in the stock market and that he was calling for 6 k on the Dow. This guy has been 100% accurate at totally messing up his market calls over the last two years. If he says one thing, do the opposite. Remember, the day the NASDAQ topped this year, Kramer came out and said, buy tech stocks. Day before it bottoms, he comes out and says, stay away from them. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but uh, perfect indicator that we're going to see a very fat bounce in the market just based off the Kramer contrarian indicator. And uh, that's it for the video. If we see follow through tomorrow and we get some good details from Obama tonight on his plans and Geithner tomorrow, we could be in store for a multi-day rally finally. And we should see or keep an eye on, on your inboxes for uh, lots of trading alerts. I need to see some follow through tomorrow before we start busting out some new plays. That's it for the video. See you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.